we found that, uh, again, using cross-species imaging, when we exercise humans and mice, uh, we find that this exercise effect has a differential benefit for <coughs> dentate gyrus of humans uh, and of mice. And, and we weren't sure what was the mechanism for this. Now we, we we're postulating that um, exercise, uh, which among many of its effects, is known to improve our body's ability to handle glucose. We think that this is mediated through a glucose effect, and we're now testing this in an aging cohort. Um, finally, uh, can we get to cellular and molecular mechanisms to initiate a sort of rational therapeutic intervention program? Uh, and we've recently completed uh, some molecular studies in the aging dentate gyrus of humans and rodents, uh, identifying defects in molecules relating to histone acetylation. Those are sort of cellular mechanisms in terms of, I'm sorry, molecular mechanisms. In terms of cellular mechanisms, I should highlight this very interesting observation uh, as you might know, that the dentate gyrus happens to be one of the rare areas of the brain that supports adult neurogenesis. And as Rusty Gage and as others have shown, this declines with age, uh, raising the possibility that this might be contributing to age-related memory decline. And so based on this, we are uh, beginning to test various pharmacological agents. One are nutraceuticals. This is based on work done by Henrietta von Prague and Rusty Gage's lab together with people from the Mars Corporation, uh, where they found that epicatechin, which is a, uh, a derived uh, um, nutraceutical from a number of foods, has a differential effect in the, de in the, in the, uh, in, in the synapses of the dentate gyrus, and we're now testing them in our platform. In terms of pharmaceuticals, the histone acetylation has raised this interesting observation that HDAC inhibitors uh, might actually be differentially beneficial for uh, aging, and we're also looking at um, phosphodiesterase inhibitors because they also converge on histone acetylation. And with that, uh, I'd like to end by thanking you for your 